Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a humongous only V try on haul. So I have athleisure, loungewear, casual like jeans, cute tops kind of outfits. And then I also have a couple dressy options and great options for Valentine's Day since that is somewhat coming right up. I'm really excited to share all the pieces that I found. But first, I want to thank Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. They are a new company that I've actually never worked with before and I've never ordered from before, but I'm really excited to be working with them today. They are a fragrance subscription for $16 a month. That's really hard to say, fragrance subscription. It's $16 a month and you are able to try out designer perfumes for a really good price. So I actually have three here to share with you guys today and I also have a coupon code to save you 30% off your first month which I believe brings your first month down to $11. So they're really such a great deal and such a great way like I said to try out designer perfumes. So this is what the bottles look like. So you get this little tube here they're so cute and you twist it up if you want to swap out your scent you just pull it right out this one here is by gucci and it's the bloom gose de fiore i'm sure i'm butchering that but i just sprayed this and smelt it for the first time it is amazing i could definitely see myself purchasing the full size of this it smells so so good and obviously high-end because it is high-end so I feel so fancy having this for just $16 also these bottles are much larger than like a sample size a sample size is usually like this you get like two spritzes out of it just enough to smell it but this is actually like 30 days worth of wear so especially with designer perfumes I find you don't need much at all and a little goes a long way so that's the first one I have another one of the scents that they sent me is this one here and this one is by scents of wood and it's called vetiver in oak um, I actually haven't smelt this one, so let's give it a little. Oh. oh my gosh. That smells so good. I think because it's a darker color, I was expecting not to like it. I don't, I don't know. This just always makes me think it's going to be too strong. And that is such a nice scent. I would 100% wear that. It's very, very soft. I actually have note cards here explaining the scent, so... Um... <laughs> Let me do that. So the first one, the Gucci one that I mentioned, has Ragoon Creeper, Tuberose, and Jasmine Bud. And then the Vetiver in Oak has Pink Pepper, Coriander, Cypress, Vetiver, and Amber. Oh, I really like that one. It's like still lingering. It smells so nice. The last one is called Get a Room. It's by Confessions of a Rebel. And again, I have not tried this one out yet. Let's give it a spray. I'll do it on this side. Oh man, that one might be my favorite. I was gonna say that one's very fresh and the first two ingredients are red apple and mandarin. Ooh, I love this one. This is a great everyday scent. So it has red apple, mandarin, cypress, liquid vanilla, and clary sage oil. I love this perfume. So I love the concept of this and just the opportunity to be able to try out high-end scents for an affordable price. I really, really appreciate that. And I think what a great gift for Valentine's Day that this would be kind of like perfect timing. So definitely check out their site. I'll leave their link down below. And just know that their subscription is super flexible as well. Like you don't have to get one every single month. You can skip months with no penalty. They have over 600 designer brands on the site. So there's definitely something for everybody. They have Gucci, Prada, Versace, the list goes on and on. And also if you're not really like a scent person or you don't know where to start because it can be overwhelming, they have a uh, little quiz that you can take and then they will make recommendations for you from there. I will link these three um, fragrances down below along with all their info and my coupon code again. I'm surprised I like all three. I'm pretty picky with perfumes and I definitely anticipated not liking at least one of these, but I genuinely enjoy all of them. As far as the try on haul, all of my sizing information will be down below for reference along with the links to all the items. And let's jump right in. Okay, so I usually start off with more of like my loungewear first, but I just love this dress so much. I wanted to start off with this and like I said, since Valentine's Day is kind of right around the corner, I literally feel like this is the perfect Valentine's Day dress. It's so pretty. They did have this in three other colors, but I loved the red and the pink combo in this one. It's just a little bit unique. I love the shape of this dress. I did size up to a size small, um, just because I really didn't want it tight in this area. And I love the way it fits. I think it's so flattering. 
and it buttons up at the neck. I love the sleeve on this. It's so, so pretty. And then also I love the slit. You guys probably know I love slits. I did pair this with just some brown booties, but you could do white booties or heels if you live in like a warmer climate. Some strappy heels would be really, really cute. You could also throw on like a denim jacket if you wanted to make this a bit more casual, but like I said, it does come in three other colors. So if this color variation is not your style, definitely check out the other ones. But I just love, love this dress and think it's so cute for so many different occasions. Also like a baby shower, bridal shower, something like that. This would be perfect. Okay, I just cleaned up the background a little bit because I had like my tripod over there and I had like dirty laundry. Actually, you can still see some of my dirty laundry. But anyway, I stole a plant from another room of the house. <laughs> it over there so whatever my tripod's now over here because I'm also filming a reel for Instagram and just all over the place but anyway another dressy option for any occasion that you may have coming up I'm obsessed with this dress absolutely obsessed this is just like so me I feel so myself in this dress I'm actually gonna keep it either that or swap it out for one of the other colors but if you are a bride and you have a bridal shower coming up, um, I feel like this would be the perfect bridal shower dress. It's so sweet. It has a lot of details on it. Up close, you can probably see that there's a bit of a texture on here along with some ruffle detailing and some lace detailing, some pleats. It also has some lace trim on the sleeves. I love the bubble sleeve and just the way this dress feels. It's like so soft and comfortable. Yet feels like pajamas, which is my favorite. It's the perfect length. I did size up to a size small, which I thought was going to be too long and too oversized on me. but I don't feel like that's the case at all. I actually love the way the small fits. So I think you can get your true size or size up, especially if you are a bit taller. It's falling just a couple inches above my knee and I'm 5'4". I have those same brown boots on from Vici. And you could style this so many different ways depending on kind of what vibe you want to go for. This would also be really cute with like a hat to finish off the look and like a really long necklace. That would be super, super cute. Also with tights and like knee high boots or something you could wear right now to work or something like that. I think that would be really cute. This is definitely a favorite of mine. It's so sweet. Next up, I have a super cute, casual, just good go-to look. So this top is adorable. I got this in a size extra small. Fits me perfectly. I definitely would say go true to size because it is like a bit loose, but I think it fits like perfectly. It's this really nice ribbed material. So it's stretchy and comfortable. And I love the turtleneck. This is just so classic. And then I paired it with some mom jeans. I got these in a size zero. They fit me really, really well, actually. Um, they're a little bit loose in the waist, but that's like a common theme for me. And they're not like falling down or anything. So it doesn't bother me. It actually makes them really comfortable. I love the way these fit, though. They're just loose in the right places. They're really soft to the touch. And I loved the wash. The back is really flattering and cute as well. And I like that they're, I wouldn't say they're cropped, but they kind of fit perfectly with ankle boots like this. So really great for this time of year and moving into spring because then you can pair it with some sneakers and stuff and you'll have just like a little bit of ankle showing, which I think is really cute. But I paired this look with this chain bag from Walmart. Just thought, I don't know, dress it up a little bit. Both of these pieces, good classic pieces to have. And if you've been wanting to try out some mom jeans, I think these are really good because they're not too oversized by any means. Like they still fit you know, through the leg and the bum, and they're just kind of like looser down at the bottom and like a little bit in through here, giving it that trendy look without feeling like you're wearing your father's jeans. <laughs> okay, next up, I have the same jeans on, same boots on. I swear I'm gonna change my boots. I've worn them in every outfit so far, but I just love them. They're really easy to style. On top, I have this adorable top. So I accidentally got this in a medium, but I actually think it works. Um, it does come up shorter on the sides. I'll untuck it for you guys in a second. So I would say if you want to tuck this in all the way around, definitely have to wear high-waisted pants so that it comes up and there's not like a hole on the side where the top comes up. But I love this. It has this really cute print on it, which I just realized is little tiny hearts, right? I did not even notice that. I thought it was just kind of like a dotty texture, but this top is so soft. It's really, really cute with the exaggerated bat wing and bubble sleeve. I love this little tie down here at my hand. I think it's so sweet and you can tie it tighter so that it doesn't like fall down over your hand if you really wanted to tie it around your wrist. It's got the buttons down the front. This would be a great nursing top. If you are a nursing mom, you could just boop, 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 access the girls and then button the top back up. It's so cute and it looks really nice with some layered jewelry kind of poking through underneath. This one definitely a good one so so just so you guys can get an idea this is what the top looks like untucked so see how high up the sides 
kind of come. That's why I was saying you kind of need high-waisted jeans if you want to tuck it in all the way around. But you could just do a little front tuck as well, which is very cute too. Okay, this next top, guys, is a must, especially if you work in an office or something. I feel like this would be so cute under a blazer or a coat or something, and then when you take it off, you just have this amazing detail at the top. It's also casual enough that you can pair it with jeans. I have it on with the same jeans, and then I put on my snakeskin booties from Walmart just to kind of dress it up a little bit, but I love this top. I have it tucked in all the way around. It tucks in perfectly, and I really, really love it. This is something that I would wear all the time in the warmer months and like I said underneath something just is nice because it has some added detail up here it's not just like a plain shirt to throw on a blazer or like a little jacket over this would be really sweet they did have this in a couple different colors I love the fabric as you guys know I love my ruffles I can't get away from them love it love it I got it in a size small did I say what size I got small I could probably do an extra small though because my bra is showing over here so the arm sleeves may be just a little bit too big um, so I would say go to probably go your true size would be my recommendation next up super casual look I love this top so much they had a couple different colors and I just really like this nude shade It's like a nude. I don't know like sun washed camel almost. I love the tortoiseshell buttons I think that makes the top look a lot more expensive You can button it up all the way. It actually still looks really cute like buttoned up like that I just unbuttoned mine because I prefer that look but this is so comfy it is like a kind of a shorter top, so it hits right at my pockets and my jeans. Um, I would say if you want to front tuck it, you definitely need like higher waisted jeans like these, but just so cute and easy to wear. A lot of different um, ways you could style this. I have this one in my true size extra small. I have it on with the same jeans and then my blowfish sneakers. I just felt like this was very fitting for this look. Just some sneakers and jeans, super cute, easy to run errands in and kind of like the perfect spring transition look depending on where you live and I will definitely be keeping it. I love it so much. Okay, moving on to the athleisure and loungewear. So I have this super cute jacket over some yoga pants and this awesome sports top. I cannot wait to share that with you, but starting with the jacket, I got this in a size extra small. I love this perfect spring jacket. It's like a little, um, it's like a thin puffer and I like the button detailing. I loved the color. I just felt like this was super cute to kind of throw over really anything, but I really like it kind of worn like athleisure, I guess. You could definitely dress it up. It's got these cute big pockets in the front, and I love the way it comes up on the sides. Very flattering and comfortable to wear. Easy to layer with, too. Like, even in my true size, I could wear, like, a lightweight sweatshirt under this. So, I appreciate that. Also, has a hood, which is great. For the springtime, it's a really, really nice jacket. I love the length of it. I love the way it looks and feels and fits. It's kind of like the perfect jacket, honestly. Well, they had a camel color, which I really wanted, but they didn't have my size at the time, so I went with the green, which I'm kind of glad I did because I really, really like it. Okay, let's talk about this sports bra. So this is amazing. I'd actually call it a sports top. It has a built-in bra on the inside. It's like the most amazing material. I got a size extra small, and I should have gotten a small. This was so tricky to get on. I was like like really had to squeeze into it once it's on it feels great but I will definitely be swapping it out for a small just so it's a little bit easier to get on since it is so snug it's, right now it feels like high impact to me like it definitely feels like you could do an high impact workout I don't think my girls would be moving at all they're like cemented in place in this top just so you guys can see a little bit better that's the built-in sports bra underneath so it's like attached up here but not attached down here so this is more of like a crop top that comes down I believe they have matching leggings to this I'm not positive but I will link them down below if so because what an amazing set this would be it would be like Spanx for your whole body I really like the quality of this like I said I'll be swapping it out for a small because I really do love it and I'm a 30d for reference by the way um, the straps are adjustable which is awesome and then these leggings are a favorite of mine. I used to wear these when I was pregnant all the time because they're just so comfortable. They're like a stretchy cotton legging, so they're not that like athletic material. These are more my favorite like loungy leggings or if I'm just going to like throw the kids in the car and run a couple errands. I love to throw these on. I have them in a couple different colors. These are a size small. I think I probably would go for the extra small because they stretch out a little bit over time like as you wash them just because they are more of like a basic cotton. Um, but like I said, they are a favorite of mine. I love the way they fit and the way they feel on. It's just super duper comfortable. I say I loved them when I was pregnant just because they're so stretchy and comfy. I would just like size up one as my belly grew. 
but I did used to work out in these when I was pregnant too. Like you absolutely can work out in them. I would just say if you're someone who sweats like a lot, you will probably get sweat marks in these. Whereas like an athletic kind of like water resistant material doesn't show like your sweaty bum. So, but highly, highly recommend for loungy leggings or just good leggings to have. I absolutely love them. They're so comfortable. And then I still have my Blowfish little sneakers on. Just thought it was a cute kind of combo look, but sports bra, amazing. I would just say size up one. Okay, now I have a few like overcoats, sweatshirts, and things like that that I would wear like to the gym. Things that I would kind of wear to and from the gym or if I was like going for a walk outside or something. So first one is this puffer. It's like a little half zip. It's super cute. I love this detail here at the sleeve. It kind of is like a separate sleeve inside of the sleeve. It has this pocket here, which has a really soft material on the inside. Nice to put your hands into. It has a zipper up here as well, which I didn't notice, but that must go like down into the jacket. I'm not sure. It does come up on the sides again, which I love. And I got this in my true size extra small. It is oversized, as you guys can probably see, but I like the way it fits a lot. I do think you could probably size down if you want to, but I think the fit really kind of like, I don't know, gives the jacket some style and it does cover your bum. So perfect with leggings. I really love this. They had it in a couple of different colors, like a sage green and then they had a really pretty mauve color, but very cute and it's super lightweight, but it actually feels very warm. Like it would definitely break the wind if you are looking for something like that to kind of go for runs or walks in. This would be perfect, very affordable. I love it. Have it on with the same leggings and sneakers and I think this is a really nice jacket. It's cool. It doesn't really look like it's from Old Navy. Another great throw over, I just have this zip sweatshirt. I love this. It looks like something that would be like Nike or something in my opinion. But it's got this really cool texture on it that makes it look so expensive. And then I love that they did this color on the inside because it shows in your hood and I just think that's really cute. Again, they had this in like a white and gray, a couple different colors, but I really liked this pink shade. I just thought it was a little bit different and cute. Just something easy, comfy to throw on. This one definitely looks very sporty, which I love. And I do feel like you could throw this on with like jeans and like a little um, graphic tee underneath and some sneakers. Lots of different ways to wear it. And I just think it's really nice. It's got these little zip pockets on the side too. I got mine in a small, so I did size up. I think that was a good choice. I think the extra small probably wouldn't have been like oversized enough for me. So if you want it to fit like this, I recommend sizing up one size. It's really, really good quality and it's super comfortable. The next one is so, so comfy. Could totally double as loungewear or um, active wear. It's super cute. It's like a half zip here. It's got a hood and it's this like thinner quilted material, but it's just super soft and cozy. I love the sleeves and the way it comes up on the side. It's kind of like a scoop, but I did get a size small, so it is like extra oversized, but I like the way it fits. I think I could have actually done an extra small or a small. Um, it covers your bum, so it's perfect with leggings. This is just something really cute to throw on and go. Super comfy, like I said. They had it in multiple colors, but I really liked the gray. They actually have some matching sweats to these and I'm going to try those on with a different top like a white tank just because I feel like it would be a lot of fabric. They are like looser joggers so I don't know maybe it would be cute together. I love this quilted trend. I don't know why it just adds like some texture to something super basic and you guys know I love texture. I'm all about the texture so really really love this. Okay guys I am absolutely shocked by this next piece and I will tell you why. Let me change the exposure a little bit because I feel like I can't really see the leggings. This is a one piece. It's something, yeah, that I don't really feel comfortable showing on camera without um, something over the top. So I'm going to try to show it to you the best that I can. So it has like a one inch strap up here and just like a little bit of a scoop neck. If I step away, it's actually not so bad, but this is what it looks like on the top. I am genuinely surprised at how much I love this. I could totally see myself working out in this. I think it's so comfortable. I the only thing is at the top, mine does gape like over here, but where I would be wearing something over anyway, I think it's totally fine. And if you are taller, you have plenty of slack um, up there at the shoulders, but I just threw over this Whitney Houston graphic tee. I thought this was so cute and I thought the colors would be really fun together, kind of like a monochromatic look, but I absolutely love this little bodysuit. If you're into yoga or anything like that, I would highly recommend these. They have them in multiple different colors. They are full length at the bottom. And I am going to keep this. I'm absolutely going to keep it. I could see myself working out in this all the time or even just like wearing it like this. I think it's super cute and I cannot tell you how comfortable it is. Like it's so much better than wearing a bra and then leggings and a top. 
I'm not going to be pulling up my leggings. I'm not going to be fighting with my leggings. And I don't have to wear a bra with it, which is just heavenly. And I may even get the black one as well. But I just love the way that this shirt pairs with this. I don't know. Maybe this shirt is selling me on the look. But I love it. By the way, the shirt I got in a medium. So I, no, just kidding. I got it in a small. So I just sized up one and I think it's perfect. Love. Okay, over that same bodysuit, I threw on this, I don't want to call it crop sweater, but it is like a bit shorter. I just thought this would be really cute, kind of thrown over um, anything, but especially this bodysuit. I got it in a size small. It's like a really nice soft fleece on the inside, but it's thinner, like it's not super thick. Again, good for spring, good for a transition piece. I love this mock neck at the top with the little strings, just sporty and cute and really comfy. I also love the boxy fit of it. I feel like the fit makes it look expensive and like very intentional. I love the color. The color is perfect. It's spot on and just really, really cute. I feel like I could have done in my true size or the small works great too. Also the seam on the sleeve and down the side. So good. Such a nice added detail. I just really love it. I do feel like you could probably front tuck this into some leggings if you were wearing leggings, but I've got this scuba suit on. So anyway, I absolutely love this. I think it's really, really cute. Next up, I have those quilted pants that I was talking about. So these actually match that quilted sweatshirt perfectly. They're like a jogger style. I have them in my true size extra small. They're super cute, very comfortable. They've got the drawstring waist and the pockets on the sides. Super cute to really just wear like this or even just to lounge around in the house in. I have it paired with my Blowfish sneakers and then this little racerback top. And I found this in with like the athleisure wear, but I think it's great for really anything. You could throw this under even like a leather jacket, really dress it up. They had a ton of different colors. It's like a stretchy ribbed material. I have it on with a strapless bra just for aesthetics, but you could do like a cute bralette underneath or a sports bra if you wanted to wear it like working out or something. So this jacket is one I own. This is from um, Old Navy from like last spring, I think, but I believe they still have it. So I'll link it for you, but I just thought this kind of made a cute casual look. I probably would swap this out for like a black to go with these because I didn't realize like how light these joggers were. I don't know if the white really does anything for me. I would have done maybe a color. But overall, very cute, casual, comfy look. Quickly just wanted to give you guys some shots of the pieces of the jacket on. So this is what the top looks like. Just very cute. A really um, defined like racer back and back and this cuts in really far in the front which is what makes it look so sporty but it's just a really good basic top. And then these pants, the more that I wear them the more I realize they're really like quite baggy in through here but I also have like no torso so for most people, their torso is probably like up here, but since I don't really like have one, I would have to pull them like up so high to get rid of the bagginess up here. I don't know. Still really cute, but I just, it's something I noticed, so I wanted to mention it. But I do still really like them. It's just, I, don't, I wouldn't want you guys to order them and be like, what is happening here? Because <laughs> I'm experiencing it too, so I think it probably depends on like your body type and your height and whatnot. Okay, last look. This would be perfect if you're just spending Valentine's Day in or doing like a little date night in. This is so comfy and I love the pink color. It just screams Valentine's Day to me. I also love that this is like a quilted sweatshirt and you could wear this with jeans and sneakers as well. It doesn't have to be loungewear. Um, the quality of everything is really good. I have these joggers in an extra small. I would say if you're taller, these probably would not be for you because I'm 5'4". And I only have like a little bit of slack at the bottom. So just keep that in mind. I front tucked this sweatshirt. This is um, a size small. So I did size up in this just so it was a little bit oversized. I love it. It's so soft, so comfy. And if you're not into the pink, especially pink head to toe, they, they had these sets in a ton of different colors and prints and options. They had tie dye and they had solid colors. They had some that weren't quilted on top and just so many different combos. So definitely something for everybody. I'll try to link them all down below. I feel like a lot of times they link them like separately they're all different links to each like graphic or print or whatever is on it so I will link my favorites down below I have my Walmart slippers on which I washed with something blue so they're like tinted blue <laughs> super cute all right guys that is absolutely it for today's video I really hope you enjoyed it let me know down below in the comments what your favorite pieces were and what you would like to see next if you have a request Thank you again to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. Definitely check out their link in my coupon code down below as well. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.